Fashion industry broadcast and Style Planet TV are proud to bring you their new Netflix original series, The Girl's Guides to the World of Designer Fashion. This new six-part series explores the seductive world of designer fashion. Series one, the history of lingerie. Series two, the legend of the designer bag. Series three, the mystery of the high heel. Series four, American fashion. Series five, Italian fashion. And series six, Paris fashion. In series one of this new original series, we explore the history of lingerie. For the longest of times, women have been looking for ways to support, suppress, or accentuate their female body parts. From the origins of basic undergarments to the birth of the underwire bra, it turns out we have ancient Egyptians to thank for it. Egyptians wore a band of linen under their diaphanous robes to flatten the bust line. While in China they were developing their own solutions, women wore single-pieced underpinnings that covered the breasts and belly, but left the back exposed. 3,000 years ago, Cretan women pretty much invented the corset to get a wasp-waisted look that predated actress Mae West's hourglass figure. Well, it's better to be looked over than overlooked. But how did we get from there to the sophisticated lingerie brands such as La Perla or Agent Provocateur ruling the eclectic world of lingerie? In fact, lingerie did not arrive fully fashioned for seduction. It has evolved over decades. For the most part, underwear was a status symbol worn by nobility, while the rest of the population went commando. Catherine de' Medici is credited with inventing the panty so she could ride her horse without exposing her low hands to the world. You can't know that. Early undies consisted of two separate legs joined at the waist. The cancan -can craze of the 19th century created the need to join the two halves and the desire to make drawers frillier and more fun. In 1904, the Charles R. de Beauvoir's company first labeled a woman's bra-like garment a brassier. It was actually a lightly boned camisole that helped stabilize the breasts. By 1907, the term brassier began to show up in high-profile women's magazines. The boyish fashions of the 1920s were unforgiving of bulky underwear, but developments in fabric technology allowed women to wear slinky petticoats that also helped them achieve the desired androgynous silhouette. Nightwear and lingerie to suit every taste and every pocket is on display. In the 40s and 50s, technological advances in fabrics such as nylon and polyester led to a boom in the American lingerie industry. Underwear was engineered to create cartoonish curves like starlet Jane Russell's B-52 shaped Playtex bras or the wasp waists needed to get into Christian Dior's new look fashion. As lingerie manufacturers like Fredericks of Hollywood began to glamorize lingerie, the choices of intimate accessories exploded. Pin-up models of the day now posed in bustiers, filmy negligees, and naughty nighties. Whilst most women were trapped in girdles, notorious 1940s pin-up model Betty Page made her name in the 1950s, wearing more risky lingerie. Whips, rubber and bondage gear were her regular accessories. In 1946, the bikini was introduced at a fashion show in Paris by its designers Louis Riard and Jacques Haim. To that time though, they couldn't find any female celebrities that were willing to risk wearing the bikini in fear of ruining their reputations. So they hired Ms. Micheline Bernardini, 
a nude dancer who was working in Paris at the Casino de Paris. The bikini has gone from cave paintings to major movies, and Hollywood has immortalized the bikini in many memorable films. Here we offer our top 10 bikini appearances in film. Brigitte Bardot, The Girl in the Bikini, 1952. Probably the one that started it all. This character of Brigitte is among the hottest roles she has ever performed throughout her career. Brigitte Bardot was cast as Manina, the girl in the bikini as an 18-year-old pretty girl. She was romanced by her co-star Jean-Francois Calvé in the movie. The multi-talented Brigitte Bardot appeared in many romantic dramas in the early 1950s and has also acted in nude scenes in many movies. Brigitte Bardot Bikini Moment has been included in the list of best swimsuit movie moments by many authors. Ursula Andress, Dr. No, 1962. Never ever dare to miss the enchanting clip of the movie Dr. No, as you'll find 007 Ultimate Bond Girl, Ursula Andress, extremely hot and sensual coming out of the sea, wearing a white bikini in front of Sean Connery's James Bond on a beach where she was collecting shells. The white bikini in the scene is considered as a memorial in the history of the bra. Raquel Welsh, One Million Years BC, 1966. The movie set in the era of dinosaurs and cavemen. The movie featured the beautiful Raquel Welsh wearing a fur bikini. Raquel Welsh was found wearing the bikini throughout the movie as the people millions of years back used to wear items made of animal skin or leaves. Raquel Welsh has been declared as the sexiest bikini figure of all time. Nicolette Sheridan, The Sure Thing, 1985. The romantic comedy movie contains the super hot scenes of Nicolette Sheridan wearing a white bikini. The name of the movie assured us that she was the sure thing in this movie. Halle Berry, Die Another Day, 2002. Wearing a bright orange bikini, Halle Berry showed her beautiful curves as an homage to earlier Bond girl Ursula Andress. Demi Moore, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. Strutting out of the surf, all buff and ripped, in glistening glory, famously revived Demi Moore's career. Ludivine Sanya, Swimming Pool, 2003. All those French, Ludivine Sanya rocked the viewers with her black and white bikini. The erotic thriller film consists of many intimate and sexy scenes, including a scene of oral sex as well. Moreover, the French actress and model has performed full frontal nude scenes in certain movies, including Water Drops on the Burning Rocks, Bon Plan, and Little Lily. Jessica Simpson, Dukes of Hazard, 2005. We couldn't miss the beautiful and sexy blonde Jessica Simpson scene, taking off her coat and showing her extremely desirable body to Enos, driving him crazy and mad for her. Jessica Alba, Into the Blue, 2005. Jessica Alba gave us this blazing scene. The movie may not have won any Oscars, but we cannot forget the super sexy scene of Jessica Alba in a blue bikini alongside the late Paul Walker. Selena Gomez, Spring Breakers 2012. Cute girls in bikinis always look appealing no matter what. Selena Gomez, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Benson and Heather Morris wearing colorful, funky colored bikinis. The young hot squad with their ultimate charm and charisma performed the scenes perfectly. The bikini has been stretched and shrunk over time and has gone from traditional to thong to string, to micro-cuts. Sales for the 64-year young bikini remain as brisk as ever, with annual sales in billions. I'm back in the 60s, baby, yeah! For the world of lingerie, the 1960s became more youthful and girlish, with playful baby doll 90s and frills to match the coquettish mini-dress of the time. By 1966, stylish young women were having fun with playful underwear shapes and patterns. Developments in underwear technology in the 60s allowed women to choose the style of bra they wanted, 
and the first recognisable modern shapes were born. The girly style of the 60s gave way to a more sophisticated, womanly look in the 1970s, with luxurious fabrics like silk and lace in elegant designs. Big hair and sensuous fabrics, as well as a touch of marabou were the quintessential elements of the 70s style. The 1980s brought us thongs, the G-string and bodysuits, as infamously worn by Cher. While the 90s were defined by a cool minimalism, personified by the newest supermodel on the block, Kate Moss, looking stunning in Calvin Klein's black and white campaigns. Calvin Klein's branded waistband became a style status symbol and was soon to be spotted poking above the waistband of jeans. Ever the trendsetter, Madonna ushered in the vogue for underwear as outerwear on her Blonde Ambition tour in 1990, with a little help from Jean-Paul Gaultier and his pointy bras. Whoa, whoa. Argent Provocateur is the most erotic lingerie in the world. After all the 90s androgyny, in 2001, Agent Provocateur brought sexy back with a bang. Specifically, Kylie Minogue riding a bucking bronco in AP Smalls, in what has since been voted the sexiest advertisement of all time. Would all the men in the audience stand up? Nowadays, in the hashtag MeToo era, the troubled American brand Victoria's Secret is desperately trying to hold on to its position as the biggest lingerie seller in the world, as tastes seem to be shifting towards more representative brands. The Victoria's Secret wants famous legendary catwalks with angels and elaborate carnival-style costumes are starting to look tired and out of date, and all the evidence seems to be pointing to a changing of the guard where lingerie has to appeal more to women and less to men's fantasies. The magical element that made lingerie sexy has been redefined over the decades and will continue to do so. What should it cover or expose? Should it look more romantic or edgy? Should lingerie appeal to women or men? Today, a lot of designer brands like Bordel and Dieter Von Thies have unabashedly plundered the 1950s Demi Monde archive and BDSM. So it seems that lingerie freely samples from almost every era of underwear history. Stars like Katy Perry have reclaimed the high-waisted shorts of the 40s and the bullet bras of the 1950s. Stella McCartney has made the granny panty popular again, and even chemises covered in leopard print from the modest 1920s are back in trend. No doubt the newest evolutions and revolutions are just around the bend.